All right, folks. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to do the plumbing with PVC piping for a two-chamber septic tank that we constructed just a couple of days ago. Um, what we did was, so I have with me here two two fittings, uh, PVC T. Regular PVC fittings uh, will do. It doesn't have to be sh uh, Schedule 40. This pipe in here is actually going to the soakaway that is down on the other end, just beneath that first cover. All right, so it's already in the ground, and you would have seen that on the previous video. So what I'm going to do is I've already cut the lengths of four-inch PVC that I needed. Uh, so I'm just going to put them together and try to explain to you what takes place. Right, so I'm going to deal with the, 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 the soak away first. So um, what happens, well, I'm going to glue this together first. I'm going to explain it to you. This goes in here. What you want to get is about six inches from the neck right up to about here. Some cesspits, septic tanks may be shorter, so it might have to be shorter, but this is really an overflow. Right? So this 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 So this make sure you want to make sure that the the, the flow on the pipe faces down. You don't want to have it like this because then you're going to create problems. You want to have the flow like this so whatever um, comes in goes the proper direction, right? In this case, the water, the, 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 this here, what I'm going to place here comes from the house. This comes from the house. All the solids would sink to the bottom of the, the pit. The fats, uh, what do you call effluents, all of the grease and all of that kind of stuff would float to the top, would stay to the top. Now what you want to do with this now to prevent that fat and that grease from going into the soak away, you have to put this pipe in place below the level of the water that would be in the pit so that what is floating would remain above and only water, the, the soak away would only receive water, right? So that's what I'm doing here now. So I'm just gonna put some PVC glue here, right along here, to make sure this stays in place. Right. Put it right in there, put it facing up. Mm -hmm. So that is the way the joint is supposed to go. So whatever water comes up here, it will go up inside down to the soak away. Uh, the overflow would be in the same direction, going down as well. All right? So, the next one we're going to do is the one that comes from the, the house, the residence. This one is a little more um, technical. So, it's the same fitting, the same PVC fitting. As I said before, you want to make sure it's facing down. It has to be facing down, that downward position. If it faces up, when you flush your toilet, Whatever, whatever comes from your sink or whatever, you're going to cause a problem here with a backlog, right? So it has to ensure that it's facing down. You want to glue this together right here.
So you want to glue this together right here. Make sure it's in. So this is actually going to be fitted right here. Also, you want to make sure that it's tilted so that the flow, the downward flow is not interrupted when, you, when water, whatever comes from inside of the house, comes down. So it's supposed to be every three feet, you're supposed to have one inch a one inch um, drop. Right? every three feet so this is a short run so as long as it's tilted downward you're going to be good to go right so that the water does not have any impediment right? so what you, this piece now is going to go here in the same sense it's going to, it's going to go together So what happens, as I said, whatever solids, whatever comes from the residence, from the toilets, whatever. Um, remember you have paper, you have poo, um, you may have wipes, maybe. It's not advisable to, to put those things in your toilets, but let's just say those are solids, right? Those things would sink to the bottom and the fats and the effluents would float to the top. So what this, what, what this this pipe down inside of the pit side of the septic tank, it actually allows the solids to remain there and whatever comes down, the, 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 the fat would float on top. This wall here is, is significant as well because it prevents all of what is floating from going on that side because that side is supposed to only have water, all right? That water, as I said, transfers through that pipe and goes to the uh, soak away. So that's about it for the plumbing. So all I'm going to do now, just going to place this here, get some uh, mortar mix, uh, and fix this in place so that it doesn't move anymore. And then later on, once the residence is finished, the, the plumbing is going to come down that wall across here and connect here. So this is already going to be in place because we're going to put the covers on top today and we don't want to have to move it again. So that's as simple as it is and we're good to go from there. So, you know, like, subscribe. If this video has been helpful to you, you know, give me a thumbs up, share this video, tell someone and we'll meet again in the next video. Okay, keep good.